She has no one to talk with. She just sits and she stares. She needs someone to hold her. Someone who cares. Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 scariest toys ever made. Big girl bottles all gone. Oh, my baby needs a clean diaper. For this list, we'll be looking at kids' toys that still give us nightmares. We'll be excluding novelty items and toys based on horror characters. Did you own any of these toys? Did they give you nightmares? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10, Jack in the Box. The entire point of this toy is to scare children. Isn't that kind of messed up? You just sit there in sweaty anticipation while the toy plays its song, waiting with bated breath for the figure to pop out and scare you. <laughs> the toy was originally built in the 16th century for a German prince, but it wasn't until the early 18th century that they became widely available. All jack-in-the-boxes are scary, but it's these period ones that are truly frightening. They play creepy old-timey music, and the figures inside are often depicted as terrifying clowns. <laughs> Most vintage dolls are creepy. These vintage dolls were made specifically to scare you. Why is this a toy again? Oh, what's in the box? Not you give me the what's gun. in the box? Number nine, Little Miss No Name. Released in the mid-60s, the Little Miss No-Name doll was intentionally designed to inspire pity in children. She's the doll who needs more loving care than any doll you've ever had. Look, she has a tear on her cheek. Meant to be an impoverished orphan of some sort, Little Miss No-Name is equipped with a burlap sack, unkempt hair, and a tragic lack of shoes. Little Miss No-Name is sad because she doesn't have a pretty dress. She doesn't have any shoes. She doesn't even have a name. Her hand is also positioned toward the user as if pleading for them to help her. But the worst thing about this doll is its eyes. The eyes are extraordinarily large and a unique brownish red, making it look like some type of demon instead of a cute, pleading child. We advise that you do not take that hand. Number 8. Coin-eating face bank. Look at that guy's face. <laughs> we don't know who designed this atrocity, and we don't know how they got that job. You can buy these things on Amazon, but we suggest that you don't. Save yourself the nightmares. A very, um, unique piggy bank. These little objects are meant to consume the coins that you feed it. It sounds fun, but it isn't. The coin bank comes with a horrifying face, complete with weirdly realistic eyes and two tiny dots for nostrils. He always ends on a different expression! Excuse me?! The mouth is also pliable, and the face makes creepy expressions as it hungrily consumes the coin. This ghastly thing looks like that stretched face lady from Doctor Who, and that is certainly not a good thing. Look how thin I am. Thin and dainty. I don't look a day over 2,000. Number seven, Pregnant Midge. Created in the mid-1960s, Midge was meant to silence those who criticized the newly released Barbie doll. Midge is Barbie's best friend and is thrilled with Barbie's career as a teenage model. At the time, Barbie was seen as too mature for children. Midge was a more homely-looking doll, but she herself would later become the subject of controversy. You Barbie fans will adore Midge, and you'll love mixing and matching costumes to create your own fashion ideas. As part of the Happy Family line, Midge became pregnant with her daughter, Nikki. As a result, a pregnant Midge was manufactured. This doll had a fully removable stomach, and when children ripped it away, they were met with the grisly sight of a baby doll inside the womb. Children were essentially giving Midge a cesarean section, and unsurprisingly, many adults didn't like it. Number six, Gooey Louie. Look what came out of his nose, gooeys. Even the name makes us want to avoid this thing at all costs. Gooey Louie is a truly grotesque toy from virtually all angles. It looks bizarre, complete with a comically large nose and wide eyes that bulge out of its head. And the entire point of the game is to pick his nose. Go ahead, stick your finger up Louie's nose, and pull out a gooey. Yes, players are forced to pull long, stringy boogers out of Louie's large schnoz. 
and it is every bit as disgusting as it sounds. But wait, it gets worse. One of the boogers makes Louis sneeze, and when he does so, his green brain shoots out of his retracted scalp. We don't know if this is more revolting or terrifying. Clark, don't pick your nose in front of me, please. I'm not picking, I'm scratching. What are you scratching, your brain? Yeah, because it's huge. Number five, Baby Alive. This doll was originally released back in 1973 and introduced young children to the joys of parenthood. What, what? Mommy has to mix it. You can pretend Baby Alive eats and drinks when you move the lever in back. The doll came with a spoon and food packets that allowed its owners to actually feed it through its movable mouth. The doll then wet itself. What fun! Later iterations of the doll introduced poop into the mix, because dealing with doll urine just wasn't fun enough. He called the shit poop! <laughs> <laughs> to make matters even worse, some dolls spoke in an eerily deep and mature voice, telling their young owners that they had to go potty. Not surprisingly, that specific model was discontinued for being a little too terrifying. Yes, that's good. I'm so hungry, Mommy. Number four, Ouija. This toy has long been synonymous with paranormal activity and demonic possession, but at the end of the day, it is just that, a toy. You really don't want me to play, huh? No, I do. Captain Howdy said no. Captain who? Captain Howdy. Who's Captain Howdy? You know, I make the questions and he does the answers. Talking boards became incredibly common in the midst of the spiritual movement after the American Civil War. The now iconic parlor game soon followed. Ouija is famously linked to the occult, a link that is further bolstered by its betrayal in popular culture. Spirits near we call to you. Spirits near we call to you. Is someone here with us? Cut it out. While the mechanics of the game have long been regarded as harmless pseudoscience, Ouija is nevertheless a terrifying creation. Impenetrable darkness, candles, maybe a little incense, and a moving planchette is all one needs to get the heebie-jeebies. Are you here? <laughs> Number three. Yumi-chan. We don't know why crying dolls are considered a good source of entertainment for children, but whatever. Back in 2012, Japanese toy manufacturer Tomi introduced the Yumi-chan doll. Like many others, this one cries massive tears, but there's a twist. To make the doll cry, you have to insert a giant syringe into its arm. You, you're gonna give it a shot. You're gonna give it a shot. I ain't giving, yeah. it, I ain't giving her the shot. I never done this yeah, before. I ain't never done it before either, all right? I ain't starting now. Look, you brought it here, and that means that you're gonna give it the shot. A, why is this toy encouraging children to make a play baby cry? That seems kind of malicious. And B, why does the method of crying have to be from a giant syringe? This is like something out of Audition, and that movie has made fully grown adults cry in fear. <laughs> Number two, Sir Growls a Lot. Some toys are made exclusively to scare children. This is one of them. We mean, it's even called Sir Growls a Lot for crying out loud. And he likes trash cans, raw meat, and hibernating. And he dislikes waking up, loud noises, and jail food. This toy bear looks like any other. In fact, when left unattended, it looks positively sad. But that's the whole point. Its sulky face and downcast eyes are meant to lure children in. But when they give it a hug, the bear turns violent. Its face contorts in anger, and it bears its sharp teeth. Here on the back of the head, if you squeeze it, he gets mean. He gets nasty, he gets ugly. The scary face is enough to send children running for the comfort of their parents. Now there's a great message to teach the young ones. Don't comfort things that look sad. They just might kill you if you do. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Cabbage Patch Snack Time Kid She's my Cabbage Patch Snack Time Kid She really loves to snack Wow, she really chews! These dolls were all the rage in the 1980s and have since become one of the most iconic toys of all time. 
Of course, there were some failures, and the Snack Time doll was certainly the worst offender. These dolls came equipped with play snacks, and the doll would eat the snacks with the help of an internal metal contraption. Problem is that the doll's mouth couldn't differentiate between plastic food and human fingers. There were numerous reports of children receiving finger injuries or having their hair ripped out by the doll. So tight against the top of her head, pushed down like this, there was no way I could cut the hair. And if kids' dolls going too far doesn't bring Chucky to mind, we don't know what does. <laughs> Unsurprisingly, Mattel voluntarily recalled the doll amidst the complaints and fierce public backlash. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.